right, this video is probably going to have like terrible audio and all that stuff. But um, this is the inside of the case labs. And I, I rarely ever have the, the PC torn down to this extent. Um, see, I have the front off here because the I'm going to be replacing all the fans, like literally all of them. So the fans up here, these are some old uh, Silverstone fans. And honestly, they are not that bad, but uh, they've been in here for years and they're slowly dying. So these are all fine, but um, one here at the top is dead. This one I just replaced because I had a backup one sitting in the closet. So this is fine, but they're all going to go because we're going to be doing RGB. So all of this has to go. Um, I could have gotten away with actually taking out the motherboard tray. I thought for... When I first started uh, pulling this apart, I thought I had cables attached to the tray, and I didn't. <laughs> so I I could have actually pulled out the motherboard tray, and yeah, I could have done it that way. But honestly, this is fine because of all the stuff we are replacing. We're installing a new cooler that has to go on the top area here, and we're also replacing all the fans. So it's it's it'll be it's easier to work in a case when you're when you're doing this much stuff. It's easier to just pull the motherboard out completely, and you know start working on everything. So. Well, that's best to actually see it. It's actually very easy to work with a case labs case. It's a shame that you know you can't actually buy one anymore. Um, but this is gonna be one of those rare things where I can finally show you guys all of this stuff and the back area over here. Um, I don't even really use this hard drive anymore. It's actually um, mostly I import a few files here and there, but I don't really need any more because of of the NAS that we talked about in the other video. And this is just the uh, how the cables are done. Kind of simple, not pretty, but it works, you know. And I gotta start messing with all this crap right here. Can you see that? All these bunch of cables here is all for the fans. So I gotta start messing with that. Undo a few things. Come back to the front here. And yeah. All right, another horrible the uh, hot sounding video, but I don't have a mic hooked up right now. Um, I'm just going to show you guys everything pulled out, so all the old fans, uh, heat sink, don't worry about that guy, he's, in a, he's a lens that I just use uh, sparingly, and video card with my network cards and um, Bluetooth cards, new stuff that's going in, and of course the motherboard. Alright, let's get back to working. Fun fact, um, I actually lost the original hardware for uh, mounting fans on my board because the Cooler Master uh, fan that I have for my CPU required that you actually take it off and put on their own custom mount. And yeah, I somehow lost it. I, I have the back plate, but I, I lost the actual uh, top pieces that the uh, Corsair um, pump required to hook in, to hook into. So I had to order it from Amazon and then get it, get, wait a whole day to get that in before I could actually continue with this installation. So yeah, something to keep in mind. This is the installation complete. So you can see there's the Corsair. If you notice, there's the cable running here. There is a thin, very thin uh, cable for the pump. It is more for the pump speed and you can plug it into your fan header, which I have there. It's very hard for you to see, but it is there, right there. The top uh, one there, plugged it in to the, um, CPU fan one, uh, that's keeping a check on the uh, the fan, the pump speed inside the pump. And then the, the main cable, of course, plugs into the back to the Commander Pro. So let's go take a look at that. All right, here's the back. Here's the, uh, the main cable coming down, plugging into the top of the Commander Pro. All my fans, which are all Corsair fans now, are all plugged into uh, the fan side here. 
and then the RGB strip, I mean the RGB uh, cables that are labeled RGB, plugged in there. So I got them as nicely punched up as I can. Cable arrangement is okay. If I had uh, custom length cables or just had custom cables in general, which are generally longer, uh, I would have been able to do a little bit more, but this is fine. I'll, and I'll see, um, I have this stuff to deal with from the case itself, case labs case itself. These are never really long enough, but yeah, did the best I could with that. Um, and I'll brighten this up so you can see a little bit better. There you go. Oh, I usually never go that high, but this probably looks terrible on video, but hey, there you go. And I'll widen this out. And there you go. There's the um, final cable management. Could it be better? Sure. But that is as good as it would be today. All right. Before I put everything back together, look at all the stuff that came out of the PC. I pulled out the hard drive I wasn't using anymore. All of these fans. All of these cables. Came out. Uh, this setup I had these uh, guys here, which we used to hold the Cooler Master fan, and pull that out. So there was a, a lot of nice cleanup, and of course the fan, Cooler Master heatsink. Um, so I'm glad I was able to clean up the PC quite a bit. It lives. My fans are spinning kind of slow, so I'm gonna adjust my fan profile a bit because I have it on like this quiet thing, but. <laughs> First go, everything working. Wow. <laughs>